Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Taekwondo Life Magazine Live. My name is Mark Sarianis. I'm your host. I'm a third Don, and I'm the editor-in-chief of Taekwondo Life Magazine. As you can see from the movie poster behind me, we are talking today about Scott Atkins' new film, Hitting Theaters and Pay On Demand or Pay-Per-View. This week, Action Man, Hitman's Holiday, or to some, it's Action Man 2, the sequel to the 2016 film Accident Man. Forgive me, that's a 2018 film Accident Man. So to this program, of course, we are a member of the Believe Network, and this program is brought to you by our sponsor, Bet Online. Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all your sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways for all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet all of your favorite sports and events like MLB, MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Last night here in New York, Aaron Judge hit his 62nd home run to make him the all-time American League home run leader. Congratulations to him. Head over to betonline.ag. That's betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Wow, this is a new 100% welcome deposit with your welcome bonus and your ad, your your promo code is we're back to promo code believe b l e a v to receive your rewards that's betonline.ag and get started today so before we get into talking about this movie let's talk a little bit about the history so as most of you know scott atkins is a taekwondo trained martial artist out of great britain He's a movie star. He's a producer, writer, um, fight choreographer out of the Hong Kong movie scene. We have a good relationship with him. Wasn't always the case. We tried to get him on the show. We wrote a series of articles called Why Won't Scott Atkins Talk to Taekwondo Life magazine? We had interviewed Jesse V. Johnson, who had uh, done the Debt Collector movies and who had done the original Accident Man, actually. and Scott finally reached out and said, hey, why do you keep writing that Scott Atkins won't talk to you? I definitely will talk to you. So we did an interview in, I believe, June of 2020, a terrific interview. He called me. He was gracious. He was kind. He was funny. And we had a really, really great conversation. Uh, Scott's done such terrific movies that we've reviewed. I, I'm a huge fan of the Debt Collector 1 and 2. Uh, Debt Collector and Debt Collectors. Avengement was a terrific movie. Um, we, he's had a lot of smaller parts. Uh, he was in triple threat. Um, he's been in, in, in so many great movies, uh, the Ninja movies, uh, Savage Dog is one that I really like. And Accident Man was one that was really terrific. It's a great pairing written by Stu Small, uh, Jesse V. Johnson, who is not back for Accident Man 2 because of scheduling conflicts to direct, um, terrific fight scenes, unique story. Um, we rated in our top five uh, one-on-one fight scenes of the 20th century. Uh, Scott's fight in that movie with uh, Amy Johnston, who we also have interviewed on this program. You can find that in, in our um, log in our history as one of the top five fight scenes of all time. So that is a really terrific um, resume. We looked forward to this one coming out. Accident Man is very unique. It has a unique feel to it, uh, sort of a comic book in a kind of way. Um, Serious issue about a guy who's an assassin, paid assassin. He's called Accident Man because he makes his assassinations look like accidents. That's his reputation. And he is sort of nurtured by his uh, surrogate father, Ray Stevenson, who is terrific. Uh, I'm a big fan of Ray Stevenson going back to the Rome series on HBO was a two year series. He paid, he played uh, Titus Pulo, one of the uh, guards, uh, centurion guards for Caesar and uh, really, really a a good actor. He was in kill the Irishman. um, And he's in this one. 
really great. So this movie is a blast. It starts off, it, it, it takes up where Accident Man finished off, which was Scott sort of fleeing uh, Great Britain because of the series of events that occurred there. You can go and read our uh, review on that. The great thing about this movie is if you're a fan of Accident Man, I think you'll really enjoy this movie. But if you haven't seen Accident Man, you could still really enjoy this movie. It brings you up to date. It tells you sort of what happened, but you don't need to have seen Accident Man to really like this movie. This is a really good movie. Um, Scott's done a lot of good movies. He's done some some serious acting in Legacy of Lies. Um, but this particular one has um, the right tempo, the right pace. Uh, it, it actually uh, takes what it was good in Accident Man and ma even makes it better. And I think this is going to be a real big success for him. The post-COVID timing, now that it can be released in theaters, people can see it, I think are really um, going to be helpful. Uh, you know, there's a great continuity to this one with Atkins coming back, with Stu Small coming back. I mentioned in my written review, which will be released today as well, that I was concerned about the fact that the film is not directed by Jesse V. Johnson. Um, Jesse's a great director. Again, we've talked to him. He directed the first one. Hell Hath No Fury, White Elephant, two terrific films that uh, Jesse did this year, which I really liked. But there's something that I didn't really fully understand, which comes to light in, in this movie which is that this one is is uh, directed by the Kirby brothers. Um, they're at the helm, and they do an outstanding job. Um, they've done a lot of short things. They've done a lot of action things, but I think this is probably going to be their biggest film to date. Uh, but Johnson, even in his films, doesn't do all the action directing or all the fight choreography. He is on the dramatic side more. He's on the script side more. And this film is such a roller coaster of fighting. Um, it, it has a little bit of John Wick in it, um, a little bit of nobody in it, um, a little bit of Accident Man 1 in it. And because of the fact that it's such a fast paced fighting film, I think that uh, while I love Jesse V. Johnson, that the Kirby's hit exactly the right pace. So this one takes up, picks up with Mike Fallon, Scott's character, um, having moved to Malta, having picked up the... Um, assassination business having done whatever it is that he did previously and i'm not going to give you any spoilers but he takes up this new life and he becomes reacquainted with from the first movie um really really one of my favorite characters although he didn't have a a um a huge role in in the first movie um Perry Benson, who played uh, Finicky Fred, he is in this movie. He's obviously one of the people who didn't get killed in the first movie, and he has a great role in this. So together, they they form sort of a partnership, and they become involved in protecting an underworld uh, mafia boss's son, who is played um, really, really in terrific fashion by a guy by the name of George Four Acres, who I, I really didn't know that well, but who is really provides some of the funniest scenes in this movie. And one of the things I loved about this movie is that this movie has a lot of violence. It has a lot of blood. It has terrific fights, um, but it manages to find a good tone of humor, um, not to the point of being stupid. Um, it understands and doesn't take itself too seriously. And I really think that there were moments in this that I was really laughing out loud. There are a couple of lines, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, that I repeated for days after watching this movie. That's how really uh, good it is. Stevenson is back in this. As I said, Perry Benson is back. Uh, and a whole series of new characters. When I saw the commercial for this, uh, you see Bo Fowler's character, a clown, and I had really mixed feelings about it, thinking he plays Poco the Clown. Um, clown, a martial arts movie, has this one really jumped the shark. Um, it, Poco the Clown and Bo Bueller together with, uh, Bo Fowler, I'm sorry, together with Scott Atkins, provide some of the best uh, stunt and fight choreography uh, that I've seen in recent years. Um, 
a terrific addition in this movie is former uh, Blood Hunters uh, co-star Sarah Chang, the wife of a martial artist and movie star Vincent Sobrano. And she is absolutely terrific. I don't want to give too much about a way about her part. She's a dynamic martial artist. She has terrific fight scenes in this movie. Um, I couldn't help but laugh. There was a tremendous homage paid to Peter Sellers and Burt Kwok from the Pink Panthers film series of the 1960s. Once you see this, I think if you have an understanding or a love of film, you'll appreciate that. This is 96 minutes of nonstop action, nonstop fighting, um, a series almost like a video game. Uh, Scott defeats one villain and another villain appears, but it's done really intelligently, really thoughtfully, really funny. And this is by far where in October, one of the top films, martial arts films of the year. Um, really, we've come into some strong movies at the end of the year. Um, the Baby Assassins was one that I loved. And this movie is equally as good, if, if not better. Um, it is terrific. It lays, ter without giving too much information, it leads, lays terrific groundwork for the possibility of future films, which I really, really was excited about. Um, I can't say enough good things about uh, Accident Man, Hitman's Holiday. Um, again, it's going to hit theaters and digital on demand on October 14th, just in a couple of days. Um, there are terrific fights uh, provided by a guy by the name of Faisal Muhammad, who I don't know. Peter Lee Thomas, who I've seen a, a training together with Holly Berry, uh, helping her train. Uh, Andy Long, who has done a tremendous amount of work. Uh, Adam Bazile. This is a Samuel Goldwyn uh, films release. Again, it'll be in theaters um, and it'll be on demand. I, I encourage you to check it out. I've seen it so far three times at the screener and to write my review and it holds up. I expect that this will be Scott Adkins' largest film uh, in many ways. You can find our written review at taekwondolifemagazine.com. And uh, this episode has been brought to you by Bet Online. I look forward to seeing you on the mat. I look forward to seeing you in the theater. And I look forward to talking to you more as the year winds up about our top martial arts films of the year. Real quick shout out to Scott. He did a very unique film earlier in the year called One Shot which is a single camera uh, sequential shoot martial artist film, totally different from Accident Man, but another great one to check out if you have the opportunity. My name is Mark Surianis. I look forward to seeing you on the mat and be sure to like and subscribe to us everywhere that podcasts and videos and Taekwondo stuff are found. Do you believe? 